So air assault seem to be all the rage these days. I made a video ages ago about Rule 28 air assaults. It did all right. I got given some no pin socks, which are here, which I like quite a lot. I just want to give him a little comparison between the two, go over a little bit of data, uh, all the rest of it. So no pins data was basically saying that these are about 5.3 watts faster or nine seconds over 10 miles compared to bare legs, which is a decent saving. But again, you know, it is what it is. Um, Rule 28 have some testing that they did and they basically said no pin socks were like 0.16 slower at 40k an hour and that changed slightly um, according to different speeds. Um, but obviously it's their own testing, so how biased is it, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I don't know. But alas, we can say that, you know, the two aero socks, you know, might be slightly faster or slightly slower, but more or less similar speeds. Um, the construction of the sock is quite different though. So this is like an OG uh, Rule 28 sock, so it's got a lot like the stripes the classic stripes down here um it fits quite well um i'm gonna go into fitting a bit later on the no pin socks are quite different um they're sort of like no bubbles at all like no dimples so completely flat on the straight here and then on the side um they've got a lot more holes i guess you could call it um in terms of the fit um these are actually a large because they seem to say go on shoe size which i think is a really silly way of doing it because my feet aren't tiny, but my legs are tiny. Like my calves are tiny and they're height wise and width wise. So I would actually say go more on calf size. So these are small, um, which fit me a lot better than these, which are large, which is more my mistake. I shouldn't have bought such big socks. Um, but I find these fit me way better than Opens ones, um, which is nice. They're a lot harder to get on though. Like the Rule 28s just seem to zip on, but maybe that's just because they're a lot larger. Um, but yeah, so I quite like them. In terms of patterns, no pins come in this color or like a black and white. And the Rule 28 come out in a black, white or oil color. So slightly different, I guess, or whatever floats your boat. Um, so yeah, I guess the, the key difference really is just like how fast you think they're going to be. Does anyone actually have any good data on it? Well, it, it's an interesting point. If you go on the Rule 28 website, they have their data, which I said before, um, which, is, which is like pretty conclusive in some ways that... Some aero socks are horrendous. You can see like the differences are massive and then in other ones, it's not um, not crazy, crazy difference. Um, the no pins seem to do pretty well. Um, also, the no pins are actually feet specific as well. So there's like a left or a right. I don't know how much difference that makes or whatever, um, but it is what it is. But I think also the other, my other point is that realistically, I think most of the time you should just wear overshoes. I think aero socks are cool and I like them and they're good maybe for when it's really hot. But like in the UK, it's not really that hot most of the time. So I feel like, Actually, having overshoes surely makes way more of a difference because they cover the shoe, which is like a moving part, and it's got loads of dimples, got burr styles on, like they're not error at all. So I think, like, yeah, fair enough. You're like, you know, happen to be racing and it's quite hot. You probably don't care about error too much. And whack a pair of error socks on for sure. But I think realistically, if you're actually going to go commit for the full aero, I definitely recommend getting a bit of overshoes action because I just think, like. Okay, you might look a bit stupid. I do admit that. But people also argue you look stupid in aero socks as well. So it is what it is. But I definitely think that's probably where they're going to go. I got these for hill climbs just because I think hill climbs, they look quite sick. Um, want a different view, all the rest of it. And also want to try them out, figure out what they're like. Because the, I have the Rule 28 ones. I quite like them, but they're just a bit too big for me, um, which is just my fault in ordering them, to be fair. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts between the two aero socks. There's obviously that like Castelli ones. Um, that would take, make a pair of aero socks as well, um, like loads of people do. Um, and I don't really like the data. So rule 28 has compared all of them, which is sort of like, I guess good, but I'm not like they say they're independent, but then it's always like, well, I'm pretty sure they published a test that could be independent, but then they're not going to publish data. Like that isn't going to say theirs is the fastest, but the better tech ones look like decently quick. Um, but they're like four watts slower at 40k an hour and no pins are like 0.16. So no pins seem like they're definitely the better ones you want to have. Um, and then like Castelli overshoot uh, aerosol seem slower again. So definitely like not the ones that you want to do um so yeah those are my thoughts on the two aero socks between no pins and rule 28 obviously rule 28 have changed their aero sock so this is like the og one this is the new no pins one um and i quite like them i quite like the style of these no pins ones um so yeah those are my thoughts and opinions leave yours below do you have aero socks you're gonna get aero socks do you think they're all just a scam and that realistically at 50k an hour it doesn't really matter uh anyway leave your thoughts below and i uh, will see you in the next one